Okay, it's time for disassembly. I think I will start with the compound rest. Remove the uh, tailstock. Way. Now, <clears throat> the issue with this is that uh, this got bashed up pretty good and you can't extend the uh, compound slide past the uh, radius of the swivel plate, which limits the amount of travel we're going to have. Uh, so, I need to do something with that. Take this apart. Take this tool post off. I need it right now. Right there for the moment. And let's take this on the school. Uh, you can tell it's been sitting for a while. It's got the ghost of the tool post sitting on top of it. These uh, 16 bolts off. He designated as a heavy because of the figures. That would be the bolts. Chew up with them at the same time, I guess. So those two bolts, those two nuts come off, and uh, it comes off like that. Pretty basic, really. Now, to get that off, what am I going to do? I guess I'll just uh, put that back on there and tear it. I'll draw out Cap screws, half an inch long, two sixteenths. Gib off next. Let's tape a gib on this. Ooh, this is not tight. Okay. Tighten that back on for a minute. that you have to uh, loosen in the normal operation of this blade to be the same size. These are 11 sixteenths, that looks like it's a 9 sixteenths, and I think it's a 3 quarters of the tailstock. 
maybe seven inches actually. Seven inches. So I guess uh, it would be handy to have them all the same size. So that. Tapered, but which way does it taper? Flat, so it's going this way. There we go. So I'll we'll loosen off the give now.
free. Soft green smell, not the green thing. Action. So we're going to be hitting it. Get a slightly bigger hammer. That's gonna fly out. Go back. Come to Papa. There we go. There we go. for the paint and crud here at the end. All right. So there you go. A little banged up here. Otherwise not too bad. This, however, is a different story. Not need to drop that. still see this, the uh, scraping on the gib all the way along. That's a good sign. Uh, although I guess you wouldn't expect that to go in and out too many times.
And what I'm doing is I'm putting everything pertinent to whatever I'm working on in a bag that's labeled. For instance, this is going to be put in a bag called compound just so I don't lose track of the parts. You may not have to do this if you have a manual, but I don't have a manual for it. As I may have mentioned. So what I'll do is I'll reverse engineer things as I go along. Take lots of pictures and perhaps I'll come up with some kind of a manual for it. Again, this is in pretty good shape in terms of wear. Damage here, however, is significant. I'll have to, uh, I don't know, maybe chuck this up in a lathe and uh, just clean off that top part down to smooth metal. And that would fix the problem. Perhaps I might do that this afternoon. It's handy having two lathes. You use one to fix the other. <laughs> 